everyone. Today I'll be showing you where to enter in the information for your clients if they have an identity protection pin. An identity protection pin is issued by the IRS to anybody that has experienced any type of identity theft issue. So this is your income page. So once you complete your return and enter your income information, we're going to click continue on through the return until we get to the screen we need to be on. Skip for deductions, other taxes, continue. Payments and estimates, continue. Now on this page for your miscellaneous form, that's where you'll find the information where you enter your identity PIN number. Right here where it says IRS identification PIN, you're going to click begin. And you're going to click whichever person has that identity protection pin. Sometimes dependents have them as well. So if it's for the taxpayer and dependent, you're going to enter both. If it's just for the taxpayer or just for one or the other, just enter that information. So we're going to enter that here. Click continue. And it's usually a six digit number. It's going to take you to the next screen to verify that you entered the identity protection pin in for the person that needs it. Once you verify the information, you're going to click continue. And that's how you enter your identity protection PIN number information.